the no growth people. But I'd add as a corollary to that, you have to get population under control as well. Because if you look at it in sheer economic terms, how can you sustain increases in per capita income at a time when you have rising population without rising economic growth? Whereas if you have a declining um, population, which is what I would aim for, then of course even a stable economic growth situation will give you increases in per capita income. So that's where I stand on do, that. Do you, do you have a sense of what the carrying capacity of Britain is or of the, uh, uh, of the world as a whole? Or? Well, Britain, I'd put it at 10 or 15 million. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I think that would be absolutely fine. I mean, that would do us really splendidly. At, at, at a limit, 2025, I think it's complete nonsense that we are now confronted with an island that, would you believe it, of 70 million, 70 million people. I wrote a paper, I think it's the only paper the Conservative Party has ever published, and it was published as an old Queen Street paper in, in June mm. 1972, oddly enough. And it was called uh, Britain Needs a Population Policy. And, um, and you, you could still argue that today, I mean, right I now. I certainly could. I certainly could. But what has happened, of course, is that we have all been, as it were, shunted aside, off, shunted off course by what you might call the rise of political correctness. Because you can't talk about this now without being saying you're anti-feminist, because you're telling women what to do with their bodies, or you're racist, because you're saying it's the browns and the blacks and the yellow races who mustn't have, um, have or you're left winger because you're religion, I'm trying to get it, you know, the capitalist society. So it's a very, very difficult one now. And I would say that at the very least, uh, the governments of the world have to start talking, the government of this country has to talk, uh, start talking seriously about immigration. Because if you look at the rise in Britain's population now, you will see that, as it were, there is a really serious differential in the fertility of the immigrant population to the fertility of what you might call the indigenous population. So anyway, but this is, this, this is, this is very political stuff, not one for Guardian readers. <laughs>